Hey guys, welcome back to the Windswept Cowboy. I am Chrissy, and today we are showing you my pantry makeover. We did do peel and stick wallpaper on the inside, but it's not just what we did on the inside. We also changed out the door. And I am super excited because I have been waiting for this for three years. Each one of the steps that we did, there was issues. So stay tuned so you can see the issues, how we worked through them, and the end product because I am loving it so much. The first step in my pantry makeover is to remove all the food. I did not realize what a big job this ended up being. Living in Wyoming, I have to stock up because the weather's so unpredictable. So there was a lot to remove. After all the food was removed, it was time to take out all the shelving and the brackets. Here's the peel and stick wallpaper that I'll be using. We first found this on Amazon, but then I noticed that our Hobby Lobby had it in stock too. My ceilings are really tall and I didn't want to have to buy an extra roll of wallpaper at $35 each just to do the couple inches that I needed at the top. So I just measured from the baseboard up and that gave me half of my roll so I was able to get two columns out of each roll of wallpaper. Great! What are you thinking mom? I'm thinking this is really pretty. And I've never done this before. So <laughs> That's a long ways up. So this is going to be um, fun. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here's to trying new things, right? Yes. <laughs> so she's just taking the edge. Yep. I'm going to peel back a little bit. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. All right, cut. Let me go. <laughs> Okay, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to peel back an edge so I have something to start up there. So they say. Dang. Sticky. Yes. That's a good thing. Yes. And sorry if my camera angles are a little awkward. Um, this is an awkward angle. Yes. It's awkward to work in here, too. All right, I'm going to come on this side All of you. Right. And it's dark. And it is so dark so y'all would have seen mom already drew a line and that's what she's going off of because our paper is not quite long enough all right and i have to make sure i'm in the corner i know Ugh. all there right we go. Go. i think I, I can see you everything okay. now all right i'm gonna push that in and hopefully yeah. i am right uh, it's folded over a little there that's why it's up at the top, right? Yeah. I think that will be fine. Okay. All right. Now I guess let's see if we're straight. <laughs> Oop. We're nutty. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to reach in there and kind of pull that backing paper down. Oh, okay. I can see. Yeah. And oh. I probably should grab a squeegee. I don't know. Oh, okay. JK, I'll be right back. All right, we have a squeegee. 
gonna be pretty. I mean, who doesn't want a fancy pantry? Right? I know, we've been talking about this DIY for years. Oh yeah. <laughs> as long as I don't pull it off the wall by doing this. Okay, all right. And then if you guys can hear any banging or anything, um, mom's roof is getting fixed today. <laughs> so just, you know, ignore that please. No one's at our front door. <laughs> All right. How's that feeling, Mom? Um, so far, so good. There's a couple bubbles there, but looks like they're coming out. Oh, good. We're doing that. Perfect. So yeah, it's just a slow go, slow, slow and go. steady. All right. I guess um, we can fast forward it. Yeah. Okay. So one issue we ran into was mom kind of was coming a little bit off the wall there in the corner so we peeled it back and now we're trying to see if we can like redo it without taking it all the way off another issue is your walls may be crooked like oh. not, not straight that so. that it's clearly the wall's fault it's clearly the wall <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna just try and fix it and get rid of the air bubble a little bit and my battery's dying, so I'll be right back. coming up to the sides now and I'm trying to get the lines to match all the way across. I tried one end, doesn't really match. <laughs> tried the other end, doesn't really match. It's supposed to match straight across, but I guess going roll to roll, maybe these were different lot numbers. I didn't check that. But I am going to cut it in half because that's how I'm using it anyway. And this lines up way better. Here, this side. This yeah. side? needs to go all the way up there across. Yes. So that is what we've been, whoo, trying not to step on it, and trying to do. <laughs> hopefully we can match the other side on the other side, but if not, it won't be that way. But at least we'll have three panels that match. Yes, so I guess let's do that. Yes. Uh, what are you doing, Mom? Well, I was... <laughs> I was tempted to peel the paper back to find my old holes so I can just put the screws back like they were. Hmm. How can I do this? How, yeah, without messing up everything. I Spoiler know. alert. Um, maybe if I can find one, like from the top, the very first one. Oh, okay. And the rest of them should follow. So, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Okay. All right. I'm filming this. So if you mess up, I know it's we in have proof. And it's kind of high up here, so let's see. Any luck? Oh, yes. Right there. All right, and you guys can't quite see, but she's cutting a little hole so that she knows. Oh, there, now you can see. There, cool. And I'll just do the same thing to the other side. Perfect. Yeah? Okay. Lines okay. in. 
Yay! Now we'll do this side. This side, okay. And I have to find the hole. Is that there? It seems lower, but. <laughs> <laughs> well. We'll figure it out here. All right. Now I'm gonna get down and I, it. I think it is. I think it's right. Okay, it looks good. Yeah, I just have to make sure these are level. All right, we're gonna do that now. Next up, as you can see, my baseboards were a little scuffed up and since this is a pantry refresh, I really needed to give them a fresh coat of paint. So I'm just taping off like the carpeted area so I get a nice clean finish. It is now finally time to prep the door. TJ's gonna cut down the sides for me so it fits in the door opening. He's just getting measurements, lining up a straight edge so we get a good clean cut. We're changing the doorknob to a handle, so he's just cutting out a piece of wood that will fit in the old knob hole. Very close. Ooh. <laughs> so now what? I'll go sand her down just a little bit until we can get it to slip in enough that we can glue it and put it in the hole. All right, sounds good. And it needs to end. Uh. Oh, it's going. It's going to go. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Look at that. And it just needs sanded on both yeah. sides. Heck yeah. Okay. Is it gonna go up? There you go. Pro tip. The belt gets loaded up with the wood fibers and it doesn't want to cut as good. Use this sandy belt cleaner. Okay. Shiny. It actually is 
too white. It's really white. Yeah, you need a cream, not a white. But we might be able to work with the wax too. Yeah. So I just picked up some of the sawdust from where we cut and I'm going to mix in some wood glue and make my own wood putty. Do you see the antelope? Where's the antelope? Where's the antelope? Are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get that antelope? Oh yeah you are, you're gonna get it. Take that piece, you know, that you cut off the top and just. That's put it on right. The Where's that piece that we cut? You know? Well, that was the part that broke. Oh. Yeah, I would rather oh. it be. I mean, the gap at the Look, bottom. Look, yeah, the gap look isn't bad. It's, no, I would rather it be a gap See? on the bottom for sure. What do you think, Zelda? What do you think? That's not too bad. I love it. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome when it's uh, got the gap at the bottom. <laughs> All right, thoughts? I love it. I love being able to see in there like that. That's yes. exactly what I wanted. And then y'all didn't know, but she's going to um, put this door here now. No. What? How did it look? Hang Some... a wreath on it? Yeah. You know, or you could do like shelves. There you go. TJ is cutting out new spots for the hinges since I changed which way the door would open. Poor guy. Okay. So I scored it all with the razor knife. So I'm gonna try to use the wood chisel and slowly cut all of that out all the way around and then we'll fit the hinge too. All right. Send it. So that is straight. This is not. <laughs> so we cut the top of the door when we didn't need to, but it was also crooked. So now we're having to fix it. The next step in this door replacement, I'm going to be using some of this wood filler. And I have these holes right here because we flipped the door around. So I have that there and then I have the two hinge areas to fill in. So we're going to get this on and dry. I'm going to be adding some chalk couture, um, like they're not really decals, but they're like stencils, I guess would be more appropriate. I'm going to be adding these to like the door and then the glass of the door. And then I'm going to be using this ink that comes with it. 
Um, I purchased this quite a while ago. I'm not even sure if the gal that I purchased it from is still doing it, but I know that it is still available. And that is what it is. It did come with several pieces that are really cool. I really like that. That's kind of cool too, but I'm not using that today. We're using the mercantile and then I just dropped a piece on the floor. But anyway, yeah, we're using these for today. So I'm going to clean the window first and then add these to it. After looking at the door, I thought this would be a much cuter spot for my mercantile sign instead of on the glass. Well, this didn't turn out exactly as I had planned. I kind of wanted it to look sharp, but the ink ran, as you can see, it's kind of messed up, but it ran in like the grooves of the old wood. So we are, we had talked about sanding it off and redoing it like with some chalk paint, something that's not quite as wet as the ink, but we're just gonna kind of sand it and see if that makes it blend in and make it look a little older because it's kind of what I was after anyway. So if we have to sand it, we're just going to see what it looks like. But I am going to continue on with doing the words on the glass. For the stencils that I'm using on the glass, I decided to use white chalk paint since I thought it would pop better with the darker pantry behind it. Well, that is what we call a happy accident. I love the way it looks now that it's all sanded. You can even see like some of the lines running through it from the old wood. Super happy with that. And then this turned out really cute too. What did you guys think? What was your favorite part? For me, I, definitely the door, since I've been waiting so long for that. Uh, I did find my peel and stick wallpaper at Hobby Lobby, but they have the same exact one at Amazon, so I will link that below for you. Also, coming up in a future video, I will show you how we finished the door. Currently, there is no backstop to it, and I'm going to magnetize that. So in an upcoming video where we tie up a whole bunch of loose ends for you, we're going to show you how we finished that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Be sure to hit that red subscribe button below because I would love to have you be part of the Windswept Cowboy family. We do all sorts of awesome videos for you. So you guys go and have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!